Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tie with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in and take a look at the markets, the crypto, Bitcoin, and equities markets around the world, uh, remember this is for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. And uh, also, when you feel like value has been added, tap the uh, like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts in the comment section. I appreciated those who uh, left comments yesterday and uh, the previous days, especially the ones that uh, talked about the um, backgrounds, the new backgrounds for the various um, analysis. Appreciate it. Let's dig into the news first, and uh, we'll go through um, the charts. That's a bit of news, so hang tight. This one, <laughs> this might be a little long. Uh, so. Banks may face competition from uh, CBDC, a central bank digital currency, study suggests. That's because CBDCs will replace a lot of the um, ways that bank make profit, especially through transactions. And also, if uh, people don't have to put their money in the bank, the bank can't lend that, uh, use that money for free, literally, to lend out, etc. So... People can just keep their digital, um, their CBDCs in uh, in their wallets, digital wallets, and just move money that way. Um, however, <laughs> um, CBDCs uh, suck when it compares to um, crypto, um, like Bitcoin or the uh, top coins. Because guess what? <laughs> the government will have access to your uh, digital wallets, and um, they know everything you do. So. Uh, there's a privacy issue with that. Uh, retail sales rose 0.5% in March amid inflation jump. Uh, import prices hit 11-year high. Uh, this is according to CNBC. Um, so if you think about it, if inflation is rising at record pace, that means things cost more and people are still spending at, at uh, record pace. That's concerning. People should be pulling back their spending and saving money um, instead and also preparing for a potential recession. So, um, and import prices rise, uh, prices hit 11 year high. That's not a surprise because as inflation goes up, cost of goods and services will go up. So, that's not a surprise there. So, please think about investing your money or like um, pulling out and um, diversify, uh, di diversifying how you um, use your money and don't just spend it. Uh, Citigroup tops earning estimates uh, better than expected. A few banks, including J.P. Morgan uh, City and uh, what's the uh, what's the other one? Goldman uh, Goldman reported earnings. Um, J.P. got uh, got hammered pretty bad. You can uh, you saw that in yesterday's. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, analysis um, with the heat, uh, U.S. U.S. market heat map there, but uh, City reported um, better than expected uh, revenue, and so did I believe uh, Goldman. So kudos for them. Uh, speaking of J uh, B Morgan, Jamie Dimon sees storm uh, clouds ahead for the U.S. economy later this year. I agree with him. It doesn't take a rocket science scientist to figure that out due to um, macro environment factors and sanctions and uh, the, the repercussions of those actions. Um, one of the um, uh, Federal Reserve Board member, uh, his name is Christopher Walk, uh, Waller. He uh, sees likelihood of multiple half uh, point interest, that's 0.5% uh, uh, interest uh, hikes uh, ahead. Um, well, that's no, that's not news, but um, it just confirms that uh, you know the twenty-five basis point that we experienced in March is not gonna be the norm. So what the market is expecting is a fifty basis point increase uh, multiple times. So he's just confirming that. Uh, Meta, also known as Facebook, uh, plans to uh, take nearly fifty percent cut on virtual asset sales in the metaverse. I shared on Twitter that I'm not a fan of Meta or fa uh, slash a Facebook. Just greedy, um, creepy, and um, 
ah, just just give me the eg uh, just give me make my skin crawl 50 percent is a lot to take um from people's commissions um yikes you know what their products are their uh, are their users so if you don't want to be a product for uh, facebook uh, just exit let's see here we have um and then uh, apple <laughs> I took that opportunity to criticize uh, Facebook for their hypocrisy because Facebook previously um, called out Apple for charging exorbitant rates in their um, Apple uh, Apple Store uh, as far as like commissions for uh, apps. Uh, I think the uh, some people call it the uh, the Apple Store tax. I think it's up to twenty five percent or so, somewhere around there. I think that's that's crazy. <laughs> I think twenty five percent is crazy. You know, fifty uh, percent is is beyond crazy. I think what's fair is between ten and fifteen percent. I think that's fair. Uh, you probably know by now, Elon Musk makes a forty three billion dollar offer to take um, to uh, to buy out Twitter and uh, take it to go private and promote quote unquote. Um, what is it? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech is a very, a two very, a three very interesting words. Freedom and speech. Freedom doesn't always. Um, if freedom of speech is not always free, there's a cost, especially when people promote violence and uh, and things like that. Um, and re regarding. Um, that news, uh, the uh, one of the uh, prince from um, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, who owns uh, a, a big stake in uh, Twitter, also said that um, he's not. He doesn't think that uh, they Twitter should sell because um, the price he says is uh, the offer price by Elon is way below what he thinks the uh, intrinsic value for Twitter uh, is worth. So. Russia threatens to um, uh, w Russia threatens nuclear deployments in Sweden if Sweden and Finland join uh, join NATO. Um, Sweden and fin Finland are planning or rushing to join NATO um, by this summer, I believe, and um, because they do border um, Russia, and you you see what's happening with Russia and Ukraine uh, being neighbors. So uh, this gives them a security with um, being a part of NATO. If uh, Russia attacks any one of uh, any one of the uh, states within NATO, then uh, it's attacking all of them. So they will respond. So not um, not a surprise there. Global economy uh, braces for China inflation shock. This is according to uh, Reuters. Um, with uh, with China uh, still clamping down on uh, COVID um, exposures and lockdowns and in major cities and stuff. Um, yeah, inflation uh, is going to hit them hard. Uh, so it might put them uh, into a recession because when you have people in lockdown, they can't go to work. Products and services can be created. Um, so um, their productivity will drop significantly. So... Uh, and it, what happens in China impacts the rest of the world. So, want to keep an eye on that. Um, relating to China, their March crude oil imports fall fourteen percent, and gas import lowest since October two thousand twenty. So, um, and again, and this is due to their lockdowns. And if imports is, uh, imports falling. And uh, for oil and gas, well, that impacts the other countries that are exporting to them, like Russia. Um, so, and the United States and other countries as well. I already mentioned that China is at risk of a recession due to their stubborn battle with uh, to eradicate Omicron. The thing about Omicron is this. It's a it's a, a virus that's a natural part of life, and so I think 
um, taking a, such a hard stand. I, I totally get why they're doing it, but taking a, such a hard stand, a stance against it. Um, I'm not sure if that's the right move, you know, because um, nature has its ways. Taiwan Semiconductor, um, what is going on? Sorry. Taiwan Semiconductor crushes first quarter targets. Um, this is important for, um, this is according to market, what is this called? Uh, Investors.com. Um, they're one of the main manufacturers. Um, the um, TSMC is one of the main manufacturers for semiconductors for the world. And so the, the fact that they're uh, crushing their first quarter targets, it's important because as you know, uh, semiconductor is, is we're in short supply of semiconductors right now um, uh, for cars and electronics, etc. So, and th this impacts the world. So, the fact that they're doing well, it's good. Um, we will see how that pans out in the future. Uh, Russia see uh, Russia. Uh, I mean, Europe to see a sharp recession if Russia um, shuts off gas supply. Um, that's not a surprise. Um, the uh, Joint Economic Forecast published uh, Wednesday, uh, Germany's biggest uh, economic institution reduced their GDP forecast as the war in Ukraine slows uh, recovery uh, from COVID-19. So you have those things back to back. You have two major macro environments. You got COVID and then you get the invasion of Ukraine get two major uh, events back to back that's going to impact the economies and uh, if Russia cuts off uh, energy supply to Europe well you need energy to heat homes heat factories and you need energy to um, for production and so if that's cut off and, and they have to scramble for it well that's going to have an impact on the economy and an impact on the economy will impact the US economy you impact China's economy <laughs> impact everyone's economy so it will impact the world economy, but more important, uh, mo mostly them first. Nexo, Nexo and Mastercard launch world's first crypto-backed payment card. What's unique about this opportunity is one, it uh, promotes um, crypto. Uh, second, um, you can so you don't have to sell your crypto; you can just borrow against it uh, through uh, and spend through that you know, using this uh, card using the, their uh, MasterCard. So it'll be the first uh, crypto back payment card. So like you back it up with your crypto holdings instead of selling your crypto holdings. So that's kind of cool. Uh, taking, you know, new technology with um, old technology. Um, according to the Bitcoinist, Ma mag uh, was it web web magazine here uh, two large Indian crypto exchanges have stopped deposits via popular payment methods uh, rub uh, rubies so imagine if you're not able to transfer fiat currency from your bank or banks to, uh, to the ex uh, centralized exchanges or the da uh, DEX how will you tr you know increase your uh, increase your um your buying power. So the uh, there are two popular exchanges in India. Uh, one's called uh, Wiser, WiserX and CoinSwitch. Uh, CoinSwitch Kuber. They disable uh, Ruby deposits using the uh, United Payment Interface UPI. Uh, so for so now if you people over there they can't um, they're not able to transfer their rubies to exchange uh, exchanges to be able to uh, buy crypto. In, ad in addition to that, recent tax laws over in India uh, saw, I think, about 75% drop of um, people leaving crypto. So India, wake up. Get with the time. Former SEC uh, Chair Clayton, he's been slapped with a lawsuit over Ripple. Um, the Ripple case uh, with the SEC against the SEC right now is important for crypto. I'm not a fan of uh, of Ripple, but um, 
their case is important. And um, in their most recent disclosures, um, they found out that um, the former SEC chair, uh, Jay Clayton, uh, and executive Bill Hinden um, violated some re- uh, regulatory uh, rules uh, with their mismanagement of Ripple. So now there's a class action lawsuit against them. So um, we'll see how that turns out. But that's a major uh, win for Ripple uh, with that discovery in the past. Wiki, uh, Wikipedia community votes to stop accepting cryptocurrency donations. I find this um, decision to be um, interesting since they rely on um, funding from the public uh, through donations. If I was uh, looking for donations, I take it in crypto, rupees, um, whatever form I can get, you know. But um, some of their uh, contributors uh, are not fans of uh, cryptocurrency due to its quote unquote volatility. Wikipedia, I love you, but come on, seriously. All right, last but not least, Dallas Cowboy, uh, Dal- Dallas Cowboys, uh, they sealed the partnership um, with cryptocurrency platform blockchain.com. This, is, I think, is mainly a branding thing, but it helps promote crypto, so I want to talk about it. Um, fans will not be able to use cryptos, uh, cryptocurrencies at, um, at the stadium, uh, but <laughs> what they'll be able to do is they'll be able to you know, attend uh, special events uh, sponsored by players and, um, and uh, the team, etc. That's it. That, that's about it. And um, uh, what is this? Yeah. Um, anyways, so it's it's more a marketing deal than anything else. It's not. Yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the news. So let's dig into the uh, chart. Uh, here we have uh, the crypto market down, blood red, with uh, with the exception of a few. Bitcoin thirty nine point seven five eight, make up thirty nine point eight k. Um, Dominance is a uh, forty uh, drop below forty one at forty point nine two. Ethereum's at uh, two point nine nine k. Dominance uh, it's nineteen point five, and uh, we got blood red uh, everywhere, except for Doge, Leo, and uh, this is a stable coin. And uh, total market cap down uh, in the last twenty four hours at one point eight five trillion. 2.889 percent uh, 8, down. So uh, money's leaving the crypto market. Here's the uh, U.S. equities heat map. Um, pretty blood red to red, and some muted greens here. Technology uh, blood red. <laughs> Microsoft down negative 2.71. Apple down three. Uh, Nvidia down 4.26, TSMC is down. So blood red technology, and you got also um, communication uh, services here. Um, Google down 2.33, Facebook's down. Um, Consumer Silico, Amazon down 2.46, Tesla down 3.65, Baba down 4.54. So this sector here is heavily correlated with crypto. And they're all red. So guess what? <laughs> Crypto's are red. Um, consumer defensive, muted uh, red, muted green. We got financials, uh, pretty muted red, muted green. We got uh, healthcare, muted red, muted, muted green. We got um, over here, industrial, same thing, muted red, muted green. Real estate, same. Energy, a um, little bit brighter green, some m- muted green, muted red. Basic material, same thing. Utility, same thing. So, yeah, bad day. Let's go to the uh, the chart here. We'll, sk- uh, we'll go through uh, uh, the watch list quickly and and see here. Uh, NASDAQ, NDQ, SPX, and DJI are all down for the day. 
you got a VIX uh, uh, up the uh, four, just over four percent at twenty two point seven zero. DXDY over a hundred at one hundred thirty nine, up 0.46. U.S. ten year yield at two point eight uh, two point eight two seven, and that's up four point five five. And you can see here Apple, Tesla, Netflix all down. U.S. oil back above a hundred dollars, um, one hundred three point seven two. And that's down, uh, I can't read that text. That's down 0.52. Gold is down, silver is down. Uh, the euro versus the dollar, um, euro is losing to the dollar. A pound is um, gaining on the dollar. It's just 0.06 though. Uh, dollar versus the yen, uh, dollar is losing to the yen. And so uh, let's dive over here to take a look at uh, Bitcoin on top first. Bitcoin, you can see here overall yesterday, it kind of it crapped sideways. And um, right at the market opening today, it dropped right here. And we'll, let's take a look at the uh, trend for the, uh, and seven day trend is still dropping. But it seems like it's hitting the floor right here at around 39.7, 39.6 here. It's more horizontal here. You can see here NASDAQ. Um, open down and uh, same thing with the uh, SPX open and continue to trend down and we have um, we have the uh, DJI here it opened above yesterday's closing but trended down afterwards and let's take a look at so the positive correlation between um, between Bitcoin and um, NASDAQ and S&P and 500 it's there. They're all down after market opening. Uh, what's interesting about this is after market opening, the Dixie also dropped. So negative correlation after market opening between the Dixie and Bitcoin, it's not holding. However, it did hold yesterday here as Bitcoin, as D the Dixie, some trended down um, and then Bitcoin was trending up slightly and then Dixie rose strongly right before mar the market opened as Bitcoin dropped, but not as sharply. So some of the ne uh, negative correlation is holding, but not after the market opening. Um, actually, at the tail end, it's hard to see here, but at the tail end of the Dixie, it's going down and Bitcoin is going up slightly. Here's the 10-year yield here. Uh, after Just before market opening, it started rising sharply. Um, Seven-day trend same as be uh it's been it's on the um incline on the dixie and the uh, u.s 10-year yield um let's go over to europe uh the uk 100 index is still crabbing sideways but the current session is recovering um the um dax is also somewhat recovering the current day a little bit cac look almost identical to the dax here from france this and CAC is from France. Light, slight recovery in the current session. Stock 600, recovery in the current section, session. Over here in Australia, we got uh, multi-day recoveries here. Uh, last several sessions is trending up. Uh, same thing with uh, Nikkei 225, trending up. And uh, same thing with uh, KOSPI uh, from South Korea. And the uh, HSI from Hong Kong. That's slightly trending up also. Same thing with the CSI 300 from uh, Shanghai, China. I'll turn it up. So Australia and Asian markets seem to be trending up in their previous session. They're closed right now. But previous session, they're trending up. European looks overall trending up. Um, but U.S. markets trending down. So that's a little bit different. That's a little bit. So that pretty much covers the... Uh, uh, the news and the uh, the market around uh, the markets around the world. I appreciate your time. Feel free to smash that like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and also share your thoughts in the comment section and uh, share my videos and analysis with your friends and family. I would appreciate that. Thanks. I'll see you in the next two videos today. Um, next one is Bitcoin, and the one after that is Ethereum. So, see you then. Peace.